Marcus Conti reporting on the Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> trial. So, uh, so I, I'm not there, obviously. I'm not there anymore. So here's the, here's the uh, talk. And um, this is all we got so far. It's, all, it's already like, you know, 1230 in the afternoon in New York. And this is what we know. These guys came out and they spoke. Let's listen. I want to say to anyone who's watching this or hearing about our prosecution, if you believe you are a victim of this man, Jeffrey Epstein, or you have evidence or information relating to the conduct alleged in the indictment unsealed today, we want to hear from you. Please call 1-800-CALL-FBI. That's 1-800-CALL-FBI. The charges unsealed today reflect the hard work not only of this office, but by our law enforcement partners at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. To my left is Bill Sweeney, the Assistant Director in Charge of the New York Field Office of the FBI. And I wish to thank him and his team. It's dry as it is dry gets. Yeah, so I'll just try to <clears throat> give you the highlights. So he's um, what they're trying to do, there's going to be some kind of hearing later today to see if they can detain him until pending trial. Detain him to pending trial, meaning that, uh, that those decisions haven't been made yet. Right? They claim dozens of vic- victims, um, two allegations, one count of sex trafficking and one count of sex trafficking conspiracy, all dating from 2002 to 2007. They mention nothing uh, more about any other instances uh, after that or before that. So it's the same as the other indictments that uh, were in Florida that he was uh, pleaded guilty to or whatever, the two counts, and served 13 months of work release. So we, we don't know much uh, more there. It seems like a witch hunt. Right? They, they're, they're projecting, um, they're projecting, they're putting this number out, this FBI number to say, uh, call us if you're a victim. Now, is that is this the proper way to do it? I mean, is this a proper way to? I, I don't know. It just sounds like a, a little bit witch hunty and a little bit. Unless they have some solid evidence, I, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. If if they have, why are they? It just it just puts a question mark in my mind. Why are they soliciting the the uh, more um, you know victims, or don't they have enough to put the guy away for life? Why are they soliciting more uh, before there's even a trial? Right? It just seems odd. So. One count of major, uh, major. Um, oh, uh, I, I already said that. The number one, they, they give a number, this number, and then you call it. And the FBI has um, has this guy uh, Epstein as the number one on the major case major case list for the FBI. He's number one when you call the the, the FBI number. So uh, that, that's really what I know, and the rest is just kind of fluff at this point, really for their dedication and professionalism in seeing this investigation through. I also want to thank the New York City Police Department, represented here today by Chief Jason Wilcox, and Customs and Border Patrol for their assistance. All right, so it's just they're just going to fluff each other, right? There's nothing wealthy financer uh, last two hours ago, NBC. They're just reiterating everything that we already know o- already. So it's uh, Jeffrey Epstein, a wealthy financer and registered sex offender with a circle of rich and powerful friends. Watch the last two videos. I already talked about my theory about it. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, continue. So it's just hurry up and wait. Right. Is he going to get let, the, the biggest thing? I said it yesterday. The biggest thing is, are they going to let this guy out on bail? Are they going to let F- Epstein out the door and go back to his mansion and, 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 and will like nothing? Now, the guy's a billionaire, right? The guy could, the guy's got billions of dollars. If they set a bond of $10 million, he's going to make that bond. He's going to give 10%. He's going to put up a million dollars cash, right? And that's the end of that, right? He's going to walk out the door, right? Is he a flight risk? Of course. Of course he is. Is he a, you know, is he, does he have a target on his back? You know, what does he know? Who's he going to rat out? My suspicion will be that uh, I, I just, you know, my, my gut says that they're going to hold him. They're going to hold him at MCC, and we'll, you know, we'll find out uh, you know, we'll find out later. So, uh, 
Mar- Marcus Conti reporting for now. Um, I-, I don't know what else to say about this. We'll keep following it. Just make sure videos for a while. And um, Marcus Conte reporting.